Hi, welcome back to This Mama Loves. And this is going to be a haul of um, an Asian grocery. So, I'm just going to turn you around and show you what I got. Okay, so, I'm going to start with produce. So, I did get some carrots, two big carrots. Um, this is a Thai mango. So, I wanted to give this a try. This is a Korean pear. Um, which I've had before and they're really good. They're really juicy and now this is Culantro, so this I'm actually using to make my green seasoning which I use for my curry um, I Usually use cilantro as a replacement, but if I can get Culantro, I'll use that so I got some Culantro. I decided to get these um, Egg roll wrappers. These are uh, to make lumpia is what they usually use them for but I don't know if I'll make lumpia or just whatever <laughs> but I got that this I got for the girls because they love now I don't have point values on these because I didn't check points in the store um, some things I know are not too bad point wise so um, I got these rice paper um, wraps this one is specifically for frying so I wanted to give these a try because I've tried frying regular um, rice paper like egg rolls and I didn't like how it came out so I'm gonna give this a try um, I got some snacks for us to try and I'm contemplating whether or not I'll do a taste test but I got some onion rings and I got two Lay's chips so this is chicken flavor and this one is a pork flavor and it still says on the back, it has like a label in English. So it's braised pork flavor. So I wanted to give those a try. I thought that would be interesting. Um, I have some soups. So I wanted to try. Now I've tried pho before and I didn't really care for it. I think it's the cinnamon. Or maybe the star anise. I think there's star anise in it too. I don't know. But I wanted to give this one a try. This one is the beef pho. So we'll see. I, the other one I tried was chicken. Oh, let's do the seasonings. So I got this, another pho to try. This one is chicken, but I just wanted to see, you know, um, try different things, different kinds, and see maybe it was the particular kind I had, because it was instant. Um, I do want to try it in a, store, in a restaurant, but we'll see. So I got this beef and broccoli seasoning, and the points aren't too bad. At, well, I assume the points aren't bad because the, the macros aren't that bad. Um, and I wouldn't be using the whole thing. Like I think it'll be individual, like uh, just a meal for myself. So I'll probably just use a little at a time. This I'll use for everybody. Um, I sometimes get fried rice seasoning, but it's a different brand. So I wanted to give this one a try. And then I got this Hawaiian spicy chicken. But again, this would just be for me. Um, so I'll do it like you know a little at a time for me because spicy. Um, I don't think the girls can take it, and my husband definitely can't take spicy. So then I got some instant ramen. So this, which I think these are Korean, this brand, Samyang, which I love these. I love the stew type, which is my favorite. So I wanted to try the curry, and I have had this one before. This is their carbo. This is supposed to be a carbonara. Um, I actually have never had carbonara, so I can't say that it kind of reminds me of carbonara but it tastes good <laughs> so i've had that before here's a, just another pho it's also the beef pho that i wanted to try so we could just get different ones you know no harm no foul this, these are like less than a dollar these are i think a dollar and change or maybe two and change i can't remember um i wanted to try this um i was just curious i've never had it i don't know if i like black bean sauce i figure you know, as opposed to going to the restaurant and, you know, paying a lot of money for it, I figured this instant would be not too bad. And then this one is uh, another Korean ramen, and this is um, gin ramen. Um, I think this one is more typical, what you would see, so I wanted to give that a try, too. Uh, and then I got some star anise, which this, I think this was like a dollar and change. This was like not much at all. Um, and then let's do this so then I got this um, bulgogi marinade 
just to give it a try, see how it is. Um, here's the macros. And then I got this peanut sauce. Um, actually, I was looking for a sesame sauce, which I could not find there. But, yeah, I think I'd give this peanut sauce a try. But, like, mix it in with, like, other things to make a custom sauce. So here's the macros. It probably will be high in points. Um, if I use it to mix in other sauces, I probably would use, like, a few, a few teaspoons. Or maybe a tablespoon at the most. And then I got two of these, which... I love, and I can't find these in like grocery stores usually. Um, I grew up drinking cola champagne, so the Asian market here, um, or at least this one that I went to today, they always have this. And they also have ginger beer, which I didn't get, but now these are not point friendly. I can definitely say that, I know that. Uh, same thing with these, I feel like for this one bag, it's like 18 or 19 points, and I think it's the same. I think all of these Samyang, these kinds, are 18 to 19 points. Because, yeah, all the stacks are the same. So, um, these are probably going to be high in points too. This far, it'll be, I'm sure, this will be less points. Now, you do want to be careful when you do ramen, because some are actually two servings a pack. This is one. But I've had some where it actually is two servings, so just be aware of that. Same thing with this. This is going to be high in points, so this will probably be up there with, let's see what the sugars are for this one. This will, that one will probably be about um, 18, 19, yeah, I think this will probably be about the same amount of points. So, but anyways, that is my from the Asian market so some it's you know Chinese uh, Thai Korean um, I really find that I like these flavors for my meals it helps them not be boring especially sauces and I'm actually gonna do something on sauces in um, an upcoming video so look out for that all right so thank you for watching bye